of our foot forms. Um, we have multiple sizes. They're fit um, for the shoe size. Um, and you can see there's multiple sensors around. Yeah, I'm just going to point this out. This is really cool. We've talked about this in Experience More Tour where we talked about the little sensors on these robot feet. Um, it's, it's, this is a flexing foot, right? So it, it'll take steps and can walk, but it has special sensors that are looking for water. And then these, in, in addition, are going to go onto the, the cuff of the shoe to sense for if, if it, when it leaks. We just carefully insert the shoe onto the foot form. And then I would place the sensors around and I would lace the shoe securely. So these machines were developed by Agor Associate um, and how it works is depending on the end use, we can adjust the water level um, and how many cycles it has to flex. So I'm gonna put the shoes down and I'm gonna hit start. Okay. And they're gonna start flexing. So you can see this is a running shoe, so it goes in about one centimeter above the sole line. A shoe like this would have to go about 60,000 flexes, which is about three quarters of a day. Okay. Um, if for any reason a sensor that you showed on the foot detects water, one or more of these green lights would turn red, the shoe would lift out of the water. Yeah. And the counter stops. How does normally water get in? Is it through a, it's not a hole because if there was a hole, we would have found it on the center here. Right. So um, what this machine does is there's a thing called wicking. Wicking is where it travels up and over the top, but to a consumer, their Gore-Tex shoes leak because their feet are wet. Yeah. So that's why we put those sensors around the collar. Um, so if any water does travel up and over, we would catch it. And so better to have it flexing versus standing in water just, just, Correct. just standing there. So we're taking a look to make sure that water isn't going to travel into the shoe um, in any way. Um, and where do you often, most often see uh, one of these tests uh, fail? So mostly on this machine you see wicking failures yeah. where they could have used a shoelace, a thread, um, a textile that wicks. Okay. And it would just travel up and over the top. Travel over the top. So now wet socks and wet feet. Correct, and you're uncomfortable. Okay, so fascinating, and so this is a whole range. These would get 60,000. How, how, what's the longest you've ever run a shoe in here? Uh, well, for R&D, I've ran it for like 2 million flexes, and oh, wow. it still um, goes, but our highest standard is 500,000. Okay, so huge range depending on the end user. So really testing to that, that estimated end user. Testing to the standards. That's awesome, okay, thank you.